Okay, hello everyone. Uh, can everyone hear me okay? This meeting is being recorded. Uh, can everyone hear me okay? Awesome. Okay, so welcome back everyone to the third and final day. of our blender sessions um so today we're going to go over um uh, we're, we're going to be making a project for the entire length of um, of today's session and and throughout our project we're going to learn some um we're, we're going to be learning some some new topics and but um there's nothing we need to like go right now. So like, we're just gonna start with the project uh, as soon as I get done with this introduction. So um, today we're gonna to be making this well right here, right? And um, so like, that's gonna be the goal for today. And we're gonna be, if I go back a bit, right? Um, uh, today's day three, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna be learning modifiers. We're gonna be, we're gonna be doing basic shading, which is colors. Uh, uh scene setup we're gonna be adding like um uh, background objects lighting uh we'll just we'll just give some light to the scene we're gonna be, we're gonna be rendering in something called cycles right in order to get like a nice image uh we're, we're not gonna go over much compositing but we're gonna touch it a bit and we're gonna do the final render Sorry about that. Um, okay, so like I said, today we're gonna be making the well, and I'm uh, and sorry about last time. Last time we uh, we we had a rush, uh, we had a rush this session quite a lot because uh, because we didn't time manage it too well, but um, but ho hopefully for today we're gonna have uh, excess time. So I guess let's just get started now. So can everyone open Blender on their computers so we can get started? Just give a thumbs up when you're when when everyone's ready to start. Okay then, um, let's just get started then. Uh, so in order to make our well, right? Um, here, if I pull up the image of this really, really quick, um, right here. So actually, let me zoom in on this. Let me make this bigger. I can show you guys better. So first we're gonna start off by making these stones at the bottom. All right, we're, we're going to make the stones. We're going to make that like foundation of the well. All right, this can be like a low poly well. I mean, it's not going to be like too realistic, and it's, but it's gonna, it's going to be like a cartoony style, I guess. And then from there, we're going to make uh, these uh, these wooden frames, and then after that, we're going to make the roof tiles. So it should be pretty simple. Although uh, there's going to be a lot that that we need to cover. So um, so just uh, keep focused and then we'll get through it. And then you'll have a really nice well at the end of the day. All right, so let's get started. So if everyone has Blender open, uh, first we're going to be making, pull this up again actually, uh, we're going to be making an individual one of these stones and then we're going to duplicate it all across. And then that's going to give us a bunch of stones. Right, so the way to do that is that we have our cube over here, um, right? I just loaded into a new scene. I just paused, let me zoom share. Right, so right here. Uh, so I just loaded in a new, a, a new scene. This is the cube that, that was spawned with. So what I'm gonna do right now 
uh, I'm I'm going to be making uh, a, sing a singular stone that we're going to duplicate, like I said before. So uh, I'm going to just scale this up. I'm going to scale it on the Y axis. So S to scale and then Y I'm going to scale up on the Y axis. I'm going to scale it up just a tiny bit, make it like a nice um, rectangle, like prism shape, like around about there. So it's not too much. Just just give it some of that. Uh, just just give it some of the like shape that'll make it look like a stone, right? And now that we have this, so does everyone have this? Oh, you don't think you'd see? Why is that? That's weird. Share our screen. Okay, sorry. Now let's start again. Then I'm sorry about that. So um, uh, I I I loaded in the scene. Uh, this is what I was met with. So um, we're going to turn this little cube over here. We're, we're going to turn that into one of the stones that we can uh, use to make the foundation of our well. So um, I'm going to do, I'm going to select my cube. I'm going to hit S to scale. Remember, S to scale. And then I'm going to hit Y. And then I'm going to scale it up just a tiny bit, like around about there. Um, so we should we should be left with this like prism shape right here. And now that we have this, uh, we're gonna we're gonna make these edges a bit less sharp because because it doesn't look too pleasing to look at right now. And if we're gonna duplicate this, this uh, we we want to look good. So in order to keep that like cartoony style, I'm gonna go into tab mode, uh, edit, edit mode by hitting tab. Uh, while my uh, box is selected, and then I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit Control B. Let's go bevel. So I'm going to bevel just a tiny bit, around about there. Remember, bevel is Control B. If I turn this on. Uh, turn this on. Sorry, you, you guys don't have to do that, but it's just going to show uh, what I'm pressing in, in the corner right here. Maybe that'll help you. Okay. Wait, how do we um, round the edges again? So, um, I'm going to control Z just to go back. So, right here, uh, right, uh, I'm over here. Uh, I have my rectangle selected. My, my my prism selected. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to hit tab to enter edit mode. All right now that I'm edit mode, I'm going to hit control B. And that'll go, that'll go give me uh, access, access to this, right? I can go bevel it like Thank this. You. Yeah. And then I'm going to, going to bevel it just around over here. That'll give me this nice shape. If I leave edit mode, we should, we should be left with this nice little rectangle. Okay, so now that we are here, right, we're gonna we're gonna duplicate this rectangle a bunch to make up the uh, to make up the base of our well. But but Wait, it's not rounding. It's not rounding. Yeah, um, it's not really rounding. Okay, uh, you're in edit mode. Uh, yeah, you're in edit mode. Go back, right? Do I uh, just pull it, or? Yeah, yeah. You you hit B, and then you just pull it back. You just move your mouse, and then all around. I don't think it's. Do you do you have everything selected? Do you have all the points on here selected? I suppose you. Okay. Do I do shift then? Uh, you can say A. When when edit mode, okay. just hit like A. And okay. Yeah. yeah. And then hit yeah. Control B, and then I'll surround it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah. Okay, thank you. Now it it does. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So in order to make that foundation of the well, we're going to, have to duplicate this bunch, and we're going to, to make it like a circle shape, right? So we can so we can do that. Yeah. Um. So what you would first thing is just hit sh Shift D, and then do that we're gonna um we're gonna actually use something called a modifier so a modifier 
is if I go to my uh, inspector over here and I go to this wrench looking tab over here, it says modifier properties. While I have this selected, if I click the wrench over there, I should be greeted with this. So what a modifier does is, uh, is it allows you to edit or like change your shape without, um, it allows you to like add like different aspects or like different properties to your shape, right? Uh, it, it can allow you to do some like really cool stuff. So while I have this selected, uh, I go to this wrench over here and, and I'm going to go over here to add modifier. I'm going to click this drop down and then we agree just all of these. So don't, so don't be frightened by this. Uh, we're just looking for the array modifier. That's right over here. It's the array modifier over here. So what the array modifier will do, if I click this, you see now, now you have two of these. So I'm gonna use the array modifier to duplicate my shape a bunch of times. Okay, I'll, I'll go a bit slower, Chris. So um, I, went, I went to modifiers, uh, I clicked the array modifier, and now that we are here, um, you see now, now we have two uh, stones, right? So what I'm gonna do, I want these stones to be, how to get to modifiers. Uh, I selected the cube and then I go to the wrench over here and then I go to add modifier. I'm gonna hit array modifier right there, array. Okay, uh, so I want these cubes to be, um, I want this to be over here, okay, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Uh, if, if everyone's over here, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna press this over here. I'm gonna change this factor X. You, you, you don't have to really, I mean, you don't really have to know this works, but we're just gonna do it for now. But we're gonna go for factor X right there. Sorry, I'm a bit confusing, but uh, factor X, we're gonna hit zero. I'm gonna set this to zero. zero. Now that's gone. And I'm gonna go to Y over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit one right there. So over here, Y is one and X is zero. And what's that done is that, uh, is that all of my duplicate of the cube, where uh, every time I duplicate, my cube, I can duplicate it by going to count over here. I could just duplicate this a bunch right there. Right, I could just duplicate how many times I want, right? But all of these will just be on the Y axis instead of the, of the X axis, right? It'll be, uh, it'll be duplicating them on the Y side in, in, instead of the X side. Okay, so now that we have this, right, we're gonna, so now that we are able to duplicate our cube, right, we want it to be in that like ring shape, in that circle shape in, in order to make the foundation, right? So we're gonna use something called a curve for that. So a curve is basically a path, right? It's a path for which uh, a mesh can follow. There's, there's a bunch of other uses for it, but for, for for today's explanation, it's going to be a path that a mesh can follow. Right? Our cube is our mesh. So we want our cube to follow a circular pattern. Right? We want to follow a circular path. So I'm going to do, I'm going to hit shift A to add. Remember, shift A is add. And then I'm going to go, instead of mesh, like we usually do, I'm going to go to curve over here. And now they're in curve. We'll go to circle because we want our mesh to follow a circular path. So I hit circle and then you're not going to see much, but if I hit S to scale it up, remember S is scale. I'm just going to scale it up in all directions. So I'm not going to hit any specific direction. I'm just going to S and then I'm going to move my mouse around. I'm going to move my mouse back. Then I'm just going to scale it up around about over here. So right there, now we have a circle. All right, now I'm just gonna scale it down a bit. Right there. Okay, so around this shape. So you want to curve a circle curve 
right? And you and you just want to to uh, to be a circle. You want to be around this size, right? So now we're going to add another modifier to our cube in order to make it follow the curve. In, in order to make it follow the circle. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to select the cube again because we're going to be adding the modifier in a breakout room. Okay, Andrew, uh, if you're there, uh, can you take Chris into a breakout room? Break. Okay, I think hopefully you heard me. But, um, okay, um, so, in a, so now that we're over here, right, we're gonna, we want our cube to, uh, to go in a circle shape. Right. So in order to do that, I'm going to add another modifier to our to our cubes right here. Uh, um, so I'm going to hit add modifier and we're going to add a curve modifier that should be under deform. It's at, over here, curve modifier. Remember, I'm going to add modifiers and curve. Um, so now they're over here, here, right? We have our cube selected, right? It's down over here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna select this eyedropper over here, right? This eyedropper will allow us to go select different objects, right? So we're gonna have our eyedropper over here, and we're just gonna go select our curve because we wanna fall to our curve. So right now it's not really doing what we want. So we're gonna, change our deform axis right so so we're going to tell uh, uh the curve what effect to have on the uh, on the on the cubes um okay um okay yeah one second let me do that it's a blend file. Um, let's see. Let's do it really quick. Sorry. Okay, so the blend file of where we are for now is in the chat. But right here, uh, now that we are over here, uh, we're gonna tell we're gonna tell this cube how to curve along this path over here so in order to do that we can we can go to our deform axis over here right and we can change that so we're just going to scroll through and see how you want it so well, this seems to be working out fine actually our, our first choice so right here i said set it to y so maybe this will work on yours but um right here is y we'll set it to y and then it'll be curving around like that so now, so now what we can do, this allows us to go, actually, this will help us a lot, because now we can go, we can change the count on the array modifier, and we could just change it like that, and that'll go all the way around. Now it's, now it's clipping a bit over here. So um, I guess you can just, we can change factor Y to 0 0.9, and add another one of these two. Uh, what did I just do? Um, okay, if it looks strange for you, um, okay, does it does it does it look like this, Isabel? Okay, if if it looks like that, then go over here to your bottom right hand corner, right? You should be in modifiers, and then right there, ah, the, have the cube selected. Then change your deform axis to Y, and now it should just go like that, or you know, it might be like that, depending on how much you have over here. So what I'm going to do, uh, I, want, I want to go all around uh, the curve. So I'm just going to increase the number of blocks, and then they'll just be going around just like that. They'll be going around in a circle. Now, it's a bit weird over here. The way to fix that is just if I have this, um, if I have this cube selected, I can hit S. Then Y, 
I could just scale it down until it looks right over there. Uh, I think that's good right there. Remember, uh, I, in order to do that, I just hit S, then Y. Now I'm just scaling it and then just fixing how that looks. I, th I feel that looks nice. I mean, that blends in perfectly. Okay, is everyone at this point? Is everyone good? Okay, awesome. Okay, so let's carry on, right? Um, so now that, so now we like the way this looks, right? So we're gonna go, we're gonna select our cube over here and we're gonna go first, uh, First, we're going to apply our own modifiers. So right now, these modifiers, I can I can change them and stuff. But if I go to tab mode, you see they're not really doing much to the actual mesh, right? So in order to apply those changes that we made via the modifiers onto the mesh, we can go over here. So I'm going to apply my array modifier first. Uh, you'll want to uh, apply the array modifier first. So we'll go over here. We'll go to this drop down over here. You can open this drop down right here. That's down arrow, and then we can hit apply. Now we you won't see any change, but it'll just disappear. And then we can go to the curve modifier, and we can hit apply. It's over here, drop down, and then apply. So now all of our modifiers are gone. And now if you notice, if I enter edit mode, the change is actually carried on to the mesh. Okay, awesome. So now that we have this, we wanna we wanna put this up a few layers. We wanna add some height to the foundation. Right, so I'm gonna go and hit shift D. Remember shift D is duplicate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit Z. In order to, oh, sorry, I duplicate it, and then I'm, sorry. Okay, let me just restart this. Let's get right here. So right here is our ring. So I'm hit Shift D, and now I'm able to move this, but I want to move it up. So I'm going to hit Z, and I can move it up and down. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move it um, up and just rest it on top of the other, uh, the base platform. I'm going to do this four times, but shift D, Z, and shift D, and then Z. So I'm just going to build this wall right here out of all of these. Okay, so now these are looking quite uniform. It's, it's, not, it's not the look we want to get. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go rotate this on the Z axis. So R and then Z, I'm gonna just rotate them to just ruin that ruin that uniformity. I'm just gonna give it some randomization. R and then Z, I'm just gonna rotate them around. Uh, that looks good right there. See, they're not as uniform and they actually look like, and they actually look like bricks. Okay. So now that we're here, is everyone here? Uh, is everyone at this point? Just give a thumbs up in the participants. Just react with thumbs up. Okay, you want us to go back a bit. Um, just, do you have any questions? If you, if you have a question, just feel free to say it out loud or put it in the chat. I'm still stuck and I don't know how to get to the modifiers. You're like going too fast. Going too fast. Um, okay, uh, uh, is Andrew still on the call? Okay, uh, Andrew, can you take her in, into a break area? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going way too fast, but... um. We have we have so much to cover, and we we have a lot to do today, and I really want to get it done. So, Andrew, can you take her into a breakout room? 
And if anybody else has a, has has any questions that I can quickly go over before we keep going, uh, just feel free to put it in the chat. Okay, then let's keep going. Okay, so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna scale this bottom one up a bit, so I'll, I'll give it some like shape and then. It'll just look better, I feel. So I'm just gonna scale this bottom one up. Remember S scale. Scale that bottom one up, scale this top one up as well. I'll give it some like some like well type shape. If like the bottom ones are bigger than the middle ones. And now that we have that, our foundation is complete. That's um, I'm looking really good. Actually, it looks better than what I made before. So um, now that I have complete, um, let me just get a little bit more. Um, let's get started on the frame of our of our well. So we're gonna give our well like a little roof, right? Um, so in order for that roof to be like held up, it needs to. Uh, we need to give it some like supports in order to hold it up. So I'm going to add a cube here. I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to hit Shift A to add a cube. And I'm going to add a mesh. And then I'm going to add mesh and then cube right here. And then we have this. So I'm going to hit G and then Y. I'm going to move it over here. So if I hit let me. I'm going to show you what we're making really quick. Okay, so we're done with we're done with the foundation part. We're done with the rocks over here. So now what we're trying to do, we're trying to make these um, supports over here. And we're, and we're going to also make this rod. And with that, we're going to make this uh, like roof thing over here. here. So that's, where, so that's where we're trying to achieve. If I go back to Blender, uh, share screen. Okay, so in order to get started on our, um, on our, our trusses, remember I added a cube, shift A, mesh cube. I hit G, then Y, I'm, I'm gonna move it to the side. Okay, now that we have a, now that we have that on the side, we're gonna have to make them really tall because uh, in order to hold the roof, they're just gonna be high. So we're gonna have to scale them up on the z-axis to make them taller. I'm just gonna scale them up. Um, I can go up. I go over here. S Z scale it up. And the cool thing about Blender is that you can just go off um, off the screen. It'll just teleport back. That's uh, that's one cool thing. Thing. Um, it's right here. I feel this should be tall enough. And then hit. So now that we have this, we can hit G and Z, then scale that up. I'm sorry, move that up. Right. We can move it up to around over here. And now we have our support structure. Right there. Now there's now there's also supposed to be one on on the other side, but we'll get to that after we restart after we go smooth out the ed edges on here. So, so in order to smooth it out, remember it's, if you had a tab with that selected, control B. Then right there, we can just double that like that. So that's, that's that smoothing it out. And then if I select that, we can hit Shift D to duplicate, and then hit Y, and we can move it right there on the other side. So we have our two support beams right there. 
on the side. All right, so now we're gonna make that little rope thing for uh, holding it up, uh, holding up the rope, it, it goes through these and that, and that lets you to, like to pick up the bucket. Um, so in order to make that, we hit shift A and we're going to mesh. And now instead of adding a cube, we usually add a cube, right? But we're going to add something else. We're going to add a cylinder, right? That cylinder is, is like a can shape right there. It's like a circle and then it's, but it's, but it's tall. So we have our cylinder. If I move this up, G and Z, move it up and then rotate that on the x-axis r rotate and then x to rotate on the x-axis i can type in right right usually i just do this but i can go type in on my keyboard 90 so 90 90 right there and then it just rotated 90 degrees Let's hit enter to confirm now we have our cylinder like that Let's go scale it down a bit because right now it's a bit big. So you have that scaled down, but hit S and it'll scale it up on the Y axis right there. We just want that to be intersecting on both sides. Okay. So now that we're here, right? Um, how are we gonna like spin this? Right, uh, we're gonna add like another like another shape for it. We're gonna add a cube. Just follow along with me on this. So shift A, mesh, and then we'll add a cube. Another cube right there. We're gonna scale that. Actually, first first let's move it into place. Uh, let me. Let me show you what, what, what we're going to be making right now, actually. Right there. So we're going to be making this little handle over there. Uh, and then the handle ha has like a little like grabbing thing on it. And that'll just allow us to spin the rope. Um, the blender. Okay. So to make that, we can. We can first just move it into place. So we're going to move it G and Y, G and Z. All right. So now we have this. We have that in place. So we're going to S then Y. I just flatten it out a bit. Right about there. And then this is put that into place actually. So that line that up a bit more. Then S, and Z. Scale that up, move that down a bit. We'll move this a bit more in. Awesome. So we have that. And then to add into the add the little gravity bit, we'll go shift A, we'll add another cylinder. We'll rotate the cylinder, on the x-axis 90 degrees. We'll just move this like that. We'll just line that up into place. Right there. Scale that up a bit more like that. Awesome. Is everyone here? Or is uh, any questions? Okay, no questions. Okay, so let's keep going. So right now we're gonna make that. Um, we're gonna make that like roof th thing over there, and we're gonna. And we're going to make like a little frame thing to to hold up the the tiles, the roof tiles. 
and uh, we're going to make that of cubes. cubes. So in order to add a cube, I'm going to write mesh cube. Then we're going to move that into place. Remember GZ. Let's just line that up right there. That's why. And just, uh, just make this little, uh, this little cube thing over here. Just by scaling up the cube and just moving it around. Just create this little support thing right here. Beam. It should look like this. Okay. So now we're going to add, add like a little dip to it, right? Give it some like style. And that dip is going to come in the middle. So we're going to have to just like move the middle in a little bit and then it'll start to cave in. And I'll show you I'll, um I'll show you what it means when we actually do it. So um we'll add the dip by going to tab and we'll select the thing you want to go into edit mode with. We'll select that. We'll hit tab in order to go into edit mode. And then we're gonna add something called a ring cut. So the ring cut it adds uh, it adds vertices in the place you want them to. So in order to do a ring cut, we'll do control R right there. And then you can see we have this little yellow square. And we, and we want that yellow square to be in the middle. Right there. It, sh it shouldn't be like that. It should be like this. You could just move your mouse around until you get that. It should be like this. And then you can click, click again. And now we have more vertices that we can play with. So now that we have our ring cut in, we have more vertices available to us. We can select these two vertices on top, right there. We can hit G and then Z to move them down. And now we have that caving in look that they were looking for. And then let's go edit. Oh, sorry. Let's go exit edit mode. Adding tab again. Awesome. So now we're gonna add. Uh, we're gonna add some more structure uh, to this to hold up the roof tiles. We'll go. We'll add some cubes right here. We'll go add this up. We move it into place. How did you make it bend? Okay. Uh, not W. We'll go back over here. Right. So, sorry. Just go back over here. Sure. So over here we had our cube. So I selected it. I went to edit mode and I hit Control R to make a ring cut. I added a ring cut in the middle and then right there. And I'm going to hit select again. Then I, I, just, I just selected it twice to make sure it's in the middle. And then I just select these two vertices, G, Z, move it down. Just like that. Pretty simple. Awesome. So we're going to add some structure like i said so shift a add a cube gz move it gx let's just move it so you can see it i'm going to scale this up on the x-axis i'm going to make it like a nice long beam over here over there i'm just going to scale it down right there let's scale it up so we'll be, so we want these beams over here so we can just use them we're going to be duplicating this so we can get like a bunch of matching parts. Okay, so we have our beam over here. I right, add a new beam. I'm going to hit R. I'm going to rotate this on the Y axis. I'm going to rotate this round right about like 20 degrees round right about over here. That looks good right there. So we can go over here. We can just move this to our side because that, that's where it needs to be. That's where it looks good. Hey, maybe we can rotate a bit more. 
you can give it a more harsh angle right there. Yeah, that looks good. Hit G, G, X. Just move that into place right there. Let me scale that down a bit. All right, so we have this on the side. What we can do now, we can duplicate this because we want this to be over here, we want this to be over there and over there. We can duplicate that and we can just move it across. All right, so I'm gonna move this, I'm gonna move it right there. And I'm, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna hit Shift D to duplicate that again. Then I'm gonna, then in order to put it on that side, I'll just hit R, Z, and then I'm going to hit R, then Z, then I'm going to hit 180. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. Just rotate, just rotate that around right there. So now you have that. I'll just line it up like you did before. G, Z, G, X, G, Y. Right there, just moving that around and putting it in place. You know, move that a bit more. Hit Shift D to duplicate it again. Just move that across right there. G then Y. Awesome. So we have the structure over here. And, and now we're going to start making the roof tiles for it. The roof tiles by stop my share and then show you this again. There's the roof tiles. There's um, we're gonna need a bunch of them. So uh, we're gonna need a bunch of them, and there's and there's gonna be a special way of making them. So I'll just show you that real quick because we're, we're running out of time. Let me share my screen. Share. Under. Okay. So in order to make the roof tiles, we'll start off by hitting Shift A. We'll add a mesh. We'll add a plane. Let's just move our mesh over here. Well, S X right there. Just move that in, into that shape. All right. Have like a rectangle over there. Um, right there. We'll enter edit mode. So selecting it. Hit R to add a ring cut to it. We'll add a ring cut in the center, just like that. Double click. We'll take this vertice over here and we'll move it down. Just like that. Just, just create this, just create this like shape over here, just like arrow shape. So, so now that we have our arrow shape, we'll hit uh we'll hit A. To select, to select the entire plane. And now that we have that selected, we'll hit E to extrude, and we'll just make this into a 3D shape. From a plane, we're gonna turn it into a 3D shape by hitting, by, by selecting all the vertices, then hitting E to extrude. And we'll just extrude that up. Just like this, you should be left with this little plate thing like right here. All right, so now that we have that, we'll hit G, we'll scale that up. Sorry, sorry. We'll, we'll move that up and we'll just move this into place. So yes, we'll move it like that and smooth that into place. And we'll rotate it as well. We scale it right there. Right here. Let's scale that up on the y axis. Let's make that a bit better. GY. And now that we have this, we'll go to our modifiers and we'll, and like we have this selected. Rotate the bricks, it's R. R to rotate. 
R and then Y. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rotate like that. And you should be in object mode with that selected. So we have this, we'll go to we'll go to the wrench, we'll add a modifier to it, we'll add the array modifier. We'll change from we'll change this from factor X. Uh, we'll change factor X to zero. We'll change the Y to one. Actually, we'll change the Y to 1.1 1 .1 right there. And we'll just change the count right there. Actually, no, no not 1.1, 1 1.05 1. 1 right there. That'll give it some nice spacing. G then Y. And then Actually, we should we just rotate this up like that because we're going to slot the tiles underneath it. So right there, remember, y is 1.05 on this. And then we'll just apply this. We'll apply this modifier. We'll hit Shift D and we'll just move that down. And we'll give it three layers, just like that. I have this. Um, I hit Shift D, and this I just moved it down just like this. We'll just fix the rotations in these, make it look better. So I don't know if they're intersecting a bit. Oh, it's down. All right. So now that we're here, we have our roof tiles. Um, I'm just going to select all of them and I'm going to hit shift D, R, R to rotate, and then Z to rotate on the Z axis, hit type in 180 to flip it around. I'm just going to move these into place right here. G, Z, just move this into place. Nice. So that's the basic modeling of our well done. Um, we have our well shape. We have our roof tiles. We have the structure holding up the roof tiles. We're not going to make the rope. I think we don't have much time for that. But I'll show you how to color it. So to color it, um, we can uh, we can go over here to the checkered ball. Remember, this is the remember this is the materials. Right, materials are the colors. We can go to over here, uh, top right corner to the three balls over here. We can click the checker one over here as well. This will show you. This will show the colors. So right now it's all gray because we haven't added anything. It's just all like a base color. So we'll go over here. We'll we'll have this selected, and we'll just change this to like a grayish color. We'll change the base color. Right here, base color. We click that, then you can just turn this gray right there. We have that, and that's gray. And now we'll add a wood. Yes? I have a question. Uh, can you tell me how to make the roof tiles? I don't know how. I was uh, looking, but I, I didn't see how you did it. Okay, Andrew, can you, uh, can you take your intro breakout room really quick? and show how to make the roof tiles. All right, uh, we're gonna give these uh, like a brownish color because they're wood. We'll also give this the brownish color. I'm, I'm, I'm selecting them, I'm selecting the different objects. I'm hitting shift and I'm just selecting multiple objects like that. So I selected all of these. I'll go over here to material properties, click new to add a new material, a new color. I'm going to change the base color to, I'm going to change to like a nice brown color right there. It should only show in one because we haven't added it to the others. So that's a nice brown color over there. And I'll go over here to this arrow over here. Now that we have the brown color, I'll just do copy material to selected. Remember, go over here to the drop down copy material to selected, right there. 
So now that will transfer the material over to all of the selected uh, objects. Actually, we'll go add these. We'll add the color to these as well. I can add I can add the material to anything, but it's first selecting them. I can go over here to this this checkered ball right there next to new. I can click that. I can just hit material then. Uh, I can hit the brown material that I want to add to it right there. And then remember, copy material to selected. That'll change. That'll give the material to all the select objects. Then again, I'm going to add color to all of these root files right here. I'm going to hit, I'm going to select that, make a new material, and just make it like a nice, maybe red. I'll make it red. Red, and then over here, copy material to selected. And that's our well. As a as red root tiles, brown wood color, then a nice gray foundation. Okay. So we have our color set up. That's awesome. Uh, I'm going to show you how to render it. So rendering, I'm going to turn this 3D object into a nice image. So first of all, I'll add a little floor. I'll hit Shift A. I'll add a plane. Now I'll go scale it up. Just give this thing a nice floor. It's, a, it's intersecting a bit. So let me smooth that down a bit. Right about there. So we have this floor over here. Uh, I'll go change where my camera is looking at. Remember, this is my camera. This is what the render will see. And I'll just move that back a bit. Let's move that farther away. Uh, and another trick you could do, if you, if you, if you want to see what your where your camera sees, you can click this camera thing over here. Uh, on the right hand side, they'll pop that up. And then, if you go over here, uh, if you click this arrow, and then go to view. Over there, you can get camera to view. Then you could just change what your camera is seeing. Uh, if you're in this clipping problem over there, uh, you can change the. If you, if you're getting the clipping, uh, clipping problem, you can go to your inspector, then the camera while having the camera selected. Then you could just change this uh variable over there you can just hire that and that'll fix that okay so we have this in place uh i'll just unselect that then i could just move around and then that'll fix that and then that'll get me out of the camera view i'll move my light the light is basically what's gonna like be illuminating this i'll just move it to the side right there and then I'll go over here to this last ball in the corner. This ball is the render, uh, the render view. So this is what your computer is rendering. So right now I'm just going to render in easy. It is faster. Uh, rendering in cycles. Uh, you can watch some videos on the online. We don't have time to cover that right now. Sorry, but um, I'm going to select this light. I'm going to go over there to the light over here in the inspector i'll change this to a sun i'll click sun over here i'll make that really bright and i'll just tone that down a bit i'll just lower the strength maybe to like 10 or something nice so we have that we set it to 10 strength that's a sunlight and that's it that's the well ready. And you, and you can render it by um, going to render in the, in the corner. You can hit render image right there. And that'll just render it out. Here's this. Okay, yeah. And you can view the render. Oh, yes. Yeah, of course. Uh, 
if anyone is behind, like I just said in the chat, right? Um, I'm sorry, I had to go really fast today. Because there's just so much to cover. And uh, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. If uh, I, I try to explain what I did a lot. That just ate up a lot of time. But um, now that we've rendered it, if I go to rendering, uh, I should be able to see the well over here. And this is rendered in EV. Rendering in cycles is different. But um, yep, right there. And that's a, that that's our YouTube channel in, in the chat. So you can go check out uh, some of our other videos, or you can or you can watch the Blender videos that uh, that we're uploading. Okay, so awesome! You have made it so far. It's five o'clock now. I'm sorry. I'm uh, I'm sorry we couldn't cover everything. But um, actually, if I stop sharing my screen, let me. Uh, if you guys want to learn more about Blender, um, you can check out uh, the the Blender Donut tutorial, which is a famous tutorial that that almost every Blender uh, Blender artist does at at the beginning. And let me share the link in the chat. Oh, no. let me let me share the link in the chat. But if you want to expand your knowledge in Blender even farther than what we've covered covered uh, in the classes. I really I really suggest checking out this channel uh, and, and following the series that uh, that'll teach you all the basics and and it'll take you farther than uh, than what we've covered today and and in last sessions. So now that uh, we're out of time for today and and this and this is the last session so there's so there's no class tomorrow uh, sorry there's no class next week so thank you all so much for joining um again sorry sorry i had to go so fast but um it was awesome uh, having you as as students you guys are very curious and i'm sure you guys are going to go really far and uh, and i hope you really enjoyed the classes as well so thank you so much for joining and it's been awesome teaching you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for teaching us. Bye. Yep, of course. We hope to see you again. Uh, the class is over.